What's going on, you guys? Claire, welcome back to the channel of Code Commerce, and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. In this video, specifically, we're going to be covering this tooltip uh, component, Material UI, and this is just meant to be not an uh, end-all, be-all, 100% uh, overview. It's just a high-level overview of how to use Material UI, and more specifically, the tooltip uh, component inside of your React project. So uh, I'm just using a little background about the project. I'm just using Vite.js. So go back to the original video. I'll show you how to install Vite.js. Really simple. If you're gonna use any other React library or Next.js, that's fine as well. It's all gonna be the same. Might just be a little bit, uh, slightly different folder structure, but other than that, it's all gonna be the same within the components. So uh, again, if you wanna install material, check back to the first video to install material. It's super easy, it takes about 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and get started with this tooltip component. So inside of my, just I just call this data display. You can call it whatever you'd like. It's just a full Folder. I'm going to create this tool tip. I'll call it like that tool tip example dot JSX RFC is just a little snippet there rich snippets to generate a functional component rather quickly. Then inside here we'll have our tool tip example, make sure that auto imports if not just import it manually. And just using this option B to toggle my sidebar. If you guys are wondering, I had a few people ask about that. So next, npm run dev will start our development server with uh, VJS and Next.js. So tooltip example, that's the text we see right here. That's what we want. So a what is a tooltip? So if you hover over this icon, that little delete button that you see right there, well, that is actually what referred to as a tooltip. So um, Pretty cool, uh, not super difficult to code out from scratch, you know, but if you're using Material UI, might as well take advantage of this. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna click on show uh, full source code there. And I'm just gonna copy this over. So uh, delete icon, just grabbing the icons here, um, icon button tooltip. So let's just go ahead and paste that in there. And I'm just gonna grab that tooltip just like that. We'll save, gave us a little space in there. So. Let's have a look, have a nice little trash can icon. We're just uh, bringing this in from material slash uh, icon slash material. So if, you, if you're getting an error that you can't resolve this icon, what you wanna do, you wanna type in down here, stop your server, npm i at mui slash icon slash material. Go ahead and install the icons material package from material UI npm run dev, start your server back up, and that's gonna take care of any errors that you might see. So if we hover over this, you'll see, <clears throat> excuse me, we have this delete, there you go. And you can change this um, right here, delete now, if you get a title, that's what this tooltip is. So that's how, how you can change the title on there. Uh, I'm gonna shrink this back down so we can kind of show you where to, how to position these things. Um, so tooltip, I'm gonna copy this down once, we have multiple ones here, there you have it. And let's scroll down and see. So you can, these are just different placements that you can use. So if we just look at the source code here, you'll see um, the placement is just a um, attribute that we can add here. So we'll just say, or a property rather. So let's do it on the second one. It might be a little easier to use, more space here. So this is gonna go on the tooltip element itself. We're just adding in this property, top start. So it's gonna be on the top, we'll go ahead and save here. Oh, this is by default on the bottom. We need to add in some room here. So let's see here. We'll say width 500. Let's add a little box in there. Let, you know what? Let's just copy this whole thing down. That way we have just a little bit of, whoops, we add a little bit of space. We'll save. We need to import this box. We need to import this grid. And I think that should be good. Let's see. Uh, button is not defined. Where's our button? There we go. All right. So <laughs> that's not necessarily what we wanted, but that's kind of how we how we have um, we can have an example of it here. So this top one's not showing because we're at the top here. So if you look at this top button to start right here, placement top. So remember that, and let's go down to this bottom here. Also we'll say 
bottom. If we were to place that with top, we're now going to be seeing it instead of the bottom, like this bottom in, bottom start, you can now see it at the top. Uh, this one's not working because it would be off the screen and they can't see it, so it kind of just defaults to the bottom. So that's how we can change this. So this bottom start, if you change this one to bottom end, it's going to mimic this left one, this far right one on the end with adding it at the end of the text there. So pretty easy to use. Um, let's see, light, add dark. Oh, this is kind of cool. You're going to add in some content. Let's have a look at this one, this HTML here. So I'm just going to copy all of this over. I'm going to replace everything in here. Replace that. And let's see what we got in here. So we're looking at HTML tool tip. So we don't need that bootstrap stuff. We're just going to grab this right there. And we'll paste this in here. Paste that right there. Light tooltip. We just want this HTML tooltip right there. You can use the others as one if you if you want. That's fine too. I just kind of I think this one's kind of cool. So I'm gonna replace this box. So encompass all this here. I'm just gonna paste that. So it's just this HTML tooltip. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Awesome. Look. So that's pretty cool, you guys. This is some stuff that a tooltip is kind of. Um, it can be somewhat challenging to create, especially for beginner developers. Uh, you're dealing with kind of rendering it based on hover. Uh, are you floating it to left? Are you flex? You know, you're using Z index. Uh, you have to worry about the Z index for other elements. So there's kind of a, a lot of things you need to think about whenever you're using a tooltip. So using it from Material UI it kind of takes out a lot of that work for you on the developer side. So you can just kind of add in some cool stuff like this, right? So tooltip with HTML, you can add a link in there. Um, there's some amazing content and you can just write straight up HTML here. Again, if you want to put an anchor tag in there or a link tag to another part of your, if you're using Next.js, for example, you can use the link tag. Um, so your app won't reload. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's how we can use a, a custom hover effect like that right there for a tool tip in, in Material UI. So let's see, you got a little arrow on top. So that's kind of cool. Let's see here, I'm gonna grab that one there and I'll just paste that in there. Have a little arrow on top, that's neat. Uh, let's see here, what else we do? Hover on touch, focus or touch, hover, click. That's kind of neat. So let's see what that click one uh, looks like. We're going to need some functions. Handle tooltip open. Let's just copy over some of this state. And you don't have to import use state because we're using this React in front of it. Uh, let's see if we need to import any of this stuff here. Grid button. We already imported button. We already imported tooltip. Cool. That's why I like to replace everything. Uh, and then this one specifically is just this click on that last one. So looks like this grid item. All right. There you go. Looks pretty neat right there. So, and again, that only, only shows whenever you click it. So I'm obviously I'm hovering. It doesn't show until I click and then it kind of stays there. So that's pretty neat until you click off. So that's kind of a cool effect that you can add into your React project. Uh, controlled tool tips. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, custom width. This is kind of cool. No wrapping. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so let's go ahead and probably don't need to. Let's go ahead and import, get rid of all this other stuff here. Um, let's see. We already have the style, we already have the button. We might not need any of this. Tooltip, tooltip classes. Nope, don't need any of that, cool. So let's see here, custom width tooltip. Let's just do the custom width tooltip, okay? So we'll just paste that in here somewhere, just like there. Kind of getting messier with all this other stuff. Uh, then let's see, let's go down a little bit. We're grabbing this custom width tooltip all right and we'll paste it down here at the bottom let's see how that looks We're getting error long text is not defined uh, custom width tooltip so I guess they're all using this long text so we'll just copy that and we'll paste it up here paste in there that long text all right so custom width 500 pixels 
let's see. Let's go back down here. Custom width. So that, this is this is just title long text. Let's see if we can go back in here. Looks like we can probably change this. So let's see here. Probably change this up here. Oh yeah, we just need to change this uh, property 500. So this is just the width of it. Uh, change it to 250. Now I'll cut it in half. Give it a refresh. Now it's just 250. Uh, again, change to 175. You want to make it kind of a little even more thin. Now it's even more thin, so that's pretty cool. Change it back to 300. Whoops, 300. We'll save. So that's how we can kind of customize the tooltip widths in Material UI. So that's pretty neat. So it's going to do non interactive, disabled button. You just add a disabled uh, property to your button. Kind of got, got over that before. Ooh, transitions. That's kind of cool. Let's look at that fade transition. That's neat. Kind of simplify this thing a little bit too. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to get rid of all this junk. We're going to get rid of, let's see. We'll get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of this. And inside here, we'll just use this basic tooltip example. And so let's replace all this. I really do like that custom width tooltip. I think that looks pretty looks pretty slick there. So again, fade. And all you have to do is just add this transition component property on there. This add fade. So grow, zoom. I like the zoom and the fade. I think they look pretty cool. Again, personal preference. But oh, that's oh hey, that's kind of cool. Let's add this one. Wait, what else we got? <laughs> that's cool. All right, I didn't. Yeah, I've, I haven't even seen these. Let's do look. Let's look at this one here. This is pretty neat. So I'm just going to copy this over. And again, you guys, just showing you how fast it is. Um, I've never seen this before. I, I I'm not copying or pasting anything other than uh, what's on this screen. So I don't really have like an example that I'm going off of. This is just straight up from the Material UI website. So again, just showing you how fast it is to configure this stuff even if you've never seen it before and have never worked with this with this technology. We'll paste it in there. Cool. So it looks like you can probably change uh, the width of this up here, but that's fine for now. But look, it just kind of follows you along wherever you're at. That's pretty neat if you want to add in some sort of functionality like that into your site. Again, that easy just to do something like that. So. I think that wraps up the video on the tooltip. Uh, next up, we'll be going over the topography example. So thanks for watching, guys. Smash the like button. I'll see you on the next one.